I mean, you do something you love, and so if you love programming, you, you got to do computer science really, haven't you? So hi, I'm Aidan, this is I'm Adam, Adam, and we're here to introduce PhotoDrone. Imagine you're sitting at Glastonbury Festival, you click a single button on your smartphone and our system will automatically kind of send a drone over to you, it will frame it automatically, it will take a picture of you and then you can choose to have that photo put on Facebook or download it or whatever you want to do. So when I first came to Bristol it was it was scary. I mean, it's scary for everyone. You do spend the first kind of first couple of weeks being like, oh no, what if I'm not smart enough for everyone else? But then you, you slowly everyone's kind of in the same pond. I feel like Bristol's really good for like getting everyone to do kind of the cores nice and early and then you kind of, you know, you can pick what you want to do in third and fourth year and go a bit further out. In second year, you get to work with external companies. So me and Adam both have experienced skydiving in the Skydiving Society. And so we built a system that controls ticket sales, it controls people jumping out and like uh, when they check in again, so they say I'm back on the ground safely. And that kind of really throws you in there. That was exciting, yeah. I spent my third year in America and I didn't have to really pay for any of that. It was all kind of covered by the university or student finance. When I talk about America, I naturally start talking about computer science instead of computer science. And in fact, a couple of my textbooks were from um, lecturers who are now lecturing in Bristol. And I was like, oh, I, I know that guy. He lectured me last year and now I'm in America and they're using his textbook. So that's, that's pretty cool. So our fourth year project has been Photodrone. Basically, I kind of handle all the communication. So when someone, you know, points their phone at a device, I and I kind of was in charge of managing like the packet stream of how their kind of accelerometer data moved all the way to the system. Um, Adam concentrated more on the kind of framing of the photograph, which was the second part of our project. It's our very first time playing with the, the API. Uh, unfortunately, Adam had the first go and he forgot to put any sort of height limiter on, so we turned it on. It shot up into the air and, of course, just crashed into the lab ceiling, removing half the paint on the ceiling. For me, the kind of big, the big one was where it finally took off and we pointed a phone at it and it like took a picture and the picture appeared like well framed on the actual camera on, on our phone screen and we were like wow cool this is really awesome and we clicked upload to Facebook and it was there and we had like our fit picture from the photo drone Facebook app on Facebook and it was like wow we actually pressed the button and this this kind of did something rather than crashed horribly. So now I'm finished at Bristol. I've got a job with Microsoft. Um, they've asked me to move to Denmark in Copenhagen. I just can't wait to start. I'm so happy that I got it, but really it's just like, you know, everyone has a really good opportunity here. I, people go to like Facebook, Google, you know, all the big names. Microsoft came to me, that was a nice thing. Everyone comes to you when you have a computer science degree. You don't really have to write a CV or fill in many things. <laughs> Lots of people are just like, we want graduates.